Hey everybody, Daryl back again. I uh, just want to do a quick little video. This the hive right here is one of the ones over at my mother's house that went uh, queenless. Uh, it's still queenless as you notice. There's hardly any activity on it at all. There's a few bees. If you'll notice the activity on the rest of them. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down. Put in a five frame newt. I got a queen out of another hive that was, uh, that was fixing the swarm. So I'm going to leave her in the cage for a couple days and uh, let them get used to her and I'm going to release her in there so we're going to do a real quick video on this hopefully my camera don't die before I get it done uh, stick around we're going to uh, make this hive queen right again alright trying to get y'all up close look at what we got going on here I know you can't see a whole lot right this minute but stick with me You can tell little to no bees. What I'm trying to do right here is I'm gonna check, see how many bees we got in the, the hive itself. If I need to break it down to the five frame nuke, I will. I'm just not sure. what it looks like. Normally I would throw a frame of brood in here and let them build another queen out, but as few of bees as there is in here, I'm kind of leery on doing that. As you can see, there's not very many bees on here. That's a good frame of pollen. Another good frame of pollen. Yeah, there's very few bees in here. Of course, you're gonna have some foragers that are out. I'm gonna break them down. I'm gonna put them in a five frame nuke. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take this whole hive and move it. Take this five frame nuke. Put it right where this hive was at. Put these frames in it. With the bees on it. like that. Now being there's so few bees, I'm probably just going to give them three frames to play with. I might put four in there. And I'm going to shake the bees out of that box into here and kind of get them congregated back up. Get them tightened up a little bit. See what it did when I put the queen up here. Be interesting to see. What I'm doing right now is I'm just shaking the bees out of this box. Into that five frame loop. You can see we got a lot of bees in the air now. Let's 
See, there's a queen cell that hatched out, but uh, she never made it back or didn't get bred like she was supposed to or nothing else. This right here is capped honey in the, uh, that's nectar in the cells, the shiny stuff. Now, as you can see, how they're congregating around her, uh, they're not trying to uh, sting through the cage or nothing else. Uh, I'm only going to leave her in there in a day or two because these are definitely queenless. I'm going to give them time to uh, get used to her and all that other good stuff, and then I'll release her. And uh, She was doing good in that other hive. It was another five-frame nuke that I hadn't had a chance to get uh, to mess with, and uh, they got... Uh, honey bound and she's run out of room so she was fixing a swarm and I just happened to uh, check it out that day and uh, I put her in the box to keep her from doing that. Now what I'll do is I'll take all these uh, these frames it's got the nectar and the honey and stuff in it uh, back to the house and uh, when this hive gets back to where it needs to be at, I'll uh, put it back in a 10 frame box and uh, throw those frames back in there so they'll have something to go off of. But if, as you can see, uh, they're really liking the queen. They're not trying to sting her. Normally they'd be biting at the, uh, the cage and stuff, but as you can see, they're not doing that. And there's so much going on, the camera ain't going to focus on it. But they're not biting the screen. They're not trying to sting it. If I can get you in the focus here. So I won't have to leave them long. The reason why I took them down to this size box right here is because there's just so few bees. There was already wax moths trying to get in under the hive. And uh, they're, uh, when you have few bees like that, it's hard for them to protect the hive, so you give them just as uh, little as you can so they won't get overwhelmed. So what I'll do is uh, I'll spread these apart, turn this cage sideways, and I'll wedge it back in. Now I don't have any candy or anything in that, that's just a plastic top. Uh, the reason why I haven't put any candy in it is because I haven't made any up because I hadn't had any need for it. And uh, that way I can release the queen whenever I feel like it. So uh, hope y'all learned from the videos. If you will, please like and subscribe. We're gonna put the top back on this thing and we'll come back in a couple days and we'll let that queen out and hopefully she'll, uh, she'll start doing her thing and we'll be good to go. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.